Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be an eyeshadow palette haul. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I decided to pick up a few eyeshadow palettes and I wanted to show you all what I got. There may be a part two to this because I do have some more eyeshadow palettes on the way, but you know, they're just kind of taking forever. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Melt Cosmetics and I did pick up three of their eyeshadow palettes and some of you all may have seen my video where I did three looks and I'll link it up above just in case you wanna see it. But for those of you all who didn't see it, here is the palette right here and I think the palette is really pretty. I did have some issues with the palette and you'll find out what it is um, once you check out the other review. But here are the shades and I think that the color story is really pretty. I feel as though this palette does bring some uniqueness to my collection. So I will go ahead and swatch three of the shades just so you can see what they look like. I really did have fun using this palette and again, I like the color story of it. And here are three of the shades swatched. And I think my favorite out of this palette is this shade right here it's just really pretty so the next one is the recently deceased palette here it is right here and this palette has some greens in it and purple and here it is right here it's basically the same as the waiting room except for a different shade you do get these really cool slip covers um, with each palette and check out the shades aren't they pretty so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch a few for you and the dark green in this palette is so pretty I think that's my favorite shade out of all of these but I can't wait to create some looks with this and here are three of the shades swatched aren't they pretty all right and the next one is this millennial pinks palette and here it is right here this too is by Mel cosmetics and if you all know me you probably already know why i picked up this palette here are the shades right here they're really pretty i mean this is a really pretty pink palette and I do like the fact that they included a black and a gray in this palette and I have had some people tell me that they don't like this palette um, I also have seen where some people reviewed it and they didn't like it um, you know but I have to see for myself you know <laughs> plus the fact that it's pink you know I love pink so I'm swatching a few for you I'm running out of space okay and I think I'm gonna swatch the, the gray and the black for you too. And here they are swatched. So as you can see, this one is the gray one and this one is the black one. So a swatch is pretty good. All right, so the next one that I have is by Stila and this is the Happy Hour palette. Um, comes in a box like this. And the reason that I wanted to get this palette is because I have the After Hours palette. But anyway, let me show you this palette. I think it is so pretty. Here is the packaging and here are the shades right here. They're really pretty. And I particularly like these shadows over here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you. And don't be deceived by the um, how light these matte shades are right here because once you put them on your eyelid, I don't know what it is with these particular shades and uh, these two big palettes, but they actually um, apply a little bit deeper than what you actually see in the pan. But anyway, let me go ahead and swatch a few of these. These metallic shades are so beautiful. And again, you know, um, it was a lot of people that didn't like these palettes. Now, one thing that did turn me off about uh, the palettes when it first came out is that they wanted what well, I think they were asking for $52 that's a lot you know I got these I got this palette on sale for like 20 something so anyway, here are a couple of the shades swatch aren't they pretty and I don't know if you all were interested in seeing the other one but let me just show you what the other palette looked like so anyway here they are both together really really pretty all right the next palette that I got is by Huda and this is the uh, desert dust palette and remember y'all so far I had this on sale for $32 so as you all know it looks like is this up done okay it looks like this and I think it's pretty okay and the shadows and you get the little cover it looks like that which is pretty and here are the beautiful shadows aren't they pretty 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch a few for you just so you can kind of see, just in case you haven't seen this swatch. And I'm still kind of thinking about her Naughty palette. It really does intrigue me. I, when I was in Sephora, I had the um, sales associate to swatch it for me. And the little, you know how she has the shades that are two-tone and look like they're swirled in the palette? Well, when you actually, uh, when she swatched it, it swatched out um, like there's one that's like a white color, not white, but maybe like a cream color. And then there's another, and it's mixed in with maybe a brown. Well, when you swatch it, you get brown and that cream color, which I thought was kind of weird. And I'm like, how would they look? you know, once you actually try to use it on your eyes. So that's the only thing that's kind of holding me back on that one. So here are just a few of those swatched. All right, so I have the Dose of Color Smoky Soiree Palette and the Cutting Edge. These palettes are really nice. This is the Cutting Edge and the packaging is like a, a, a matte type of feeling really nice very sleek and clean I really like it and here are the shades it's really pretty so as you all know Dose of Colors is one of those expensive brands and I have my eye on these but these little babies cost $36 a pop so they had a little sale and I was like okay well here's my opportunity to go ahead and get them. I don't have any Dose of Color palettes. I do have their um, loose powders where you get the the base on one side and the shadow on the other and those are super nice. And I kind of feel like this is the year of the grungy eyeshadows because it seems like the year before that it was the year of the pops of blue now look i've already gotten my palette dirty and i hate that i hate it when i get my palettes dirty all right so on to the smoky soiree again you get that beautiful black matte packaging and these are so my colors aren't those pretty all right so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few for you and i hope this is a good black you know, I hope that I'm not going to get any problems layering it because I think that's like the worst when you have a black in your palette and it doesn't layer well and it's just a mess. And here they are swatched. It looks like this shade right here could be a topper, I think, but it's really pretty. All right, so this next palette, a lot of the reason I picked it up was because of the packaging. And this is the Urban Decay Stone Vibes. Ooh, y'all, this palette is so pretty. And then um, I swatched it, or either I saw the lady swatching it in Sephora. She swatched it for me. Look at the packaging. Look at that. And here are the shades. So y'all know I have to swatch a few for you, right? Okay, and here it is swatched. So I'm not even sure if the lighting is doing it justice, but these shadows are really pretty. All right, so this next one is by Pat McGrath, and I know that you all have seen this all over the YT. <laughs> all over the YT. So the deal with this one is they were talking about how it's similar to the Metropolis, I think, and another one which was the 2018 holiday set or something like that and in those palettes they said that some of the shadows were the same as the decadence now now i do have the decadence but i don't have the other palettes but um, i thought i'd go ahead and just pick it up anyway because they were saying that the middle two rows weren't uh, duplicates of anything but this palette is really pretty and i know you all have seen swatches all over the yt but i want to show you some swatches too and here are the a few of the shades swatched and they're beautiful no denying it can't wait to do some looks with this baby all right so this next one love the packaging this is the nars after what is this afterglow i can't see this is the nars yeah afterglow eyeshadow palette comes in a package like this and the palette is so so pretty so look at that isn't that gorgeous? And here are the shades. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So one of them you probably won't be able to see all that well because it's kind of like my skin tone, but here they are swatched. 
Now the next company that I picked up eyeshadows from, they have some gorgeous packaging too. I really didn't realize it until I actually got it in my hands up close and personal. I mean, all of their, I can't get this, hold on. Okay, there. I mean, each one of their palettes is so pretty. So I got all three of the Oma palettes. All right, so this one is the Carnival. This one is Savage. And this one is Allure. And Allure is so pretty. Um, look at the, let me bring this up close. Do y'all see that? Their packaging is so pretty. And you get a really thick slip cover with their name on it. And here are the shadows. They are gorgeous and they look so pretty swatched. I don't know how they apply. So I don't even know if you would call this formula like a glittery formula or what. But anyway, here it is swatched and I hope y'all can see that. And it's really interesting because their metallic shades are so similar to the Stila. Uh, those glittery shadows, same type of feeling with those. Okay, so we're gonna go on with Savage next. Bring this up close so y'all can see that. Isn't that pretty? Again, you get this serious <laughs> cover. And here are the shadows. And the silver in here is like liquid silver or liquid metal. <laughs> and there they are swatched. Now one thing that is a trip about these, uh, because they are so glittery, they are everywhere. They do get everywhere, as you all can see with the swatches. Um, just like with that Stila palette, it's like it's a little bit more than normal um, amount of glitter. So if you don't like glitter, you might wanna stay away from these. Okay, and this one is the Carnival palette. Look how pretty that is. Ooh. And here are the shades. So beautiful. I mean, the pink in here is just, look at that, that's one swatch right there. And here is the Carnival. And then the last palette that I have is the Amor Caliente by Too Faced. And I wasn't gonna buy another Too Faced palette, but this was on sale for 20 something. Macy's had like a flash sale. And look at the shadows, super pretty. I'm gonna swatch a few, and this is the last one. And here it is, a few shades swatched. So anyway, that concludes my eyeshadow palette haul. Um, do you have any of the eyeshadow palettes that I picked up? If you do, how do you like them? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until my next video, smooches.